And Spotlight, yes. Which was such a fantastic performance. Thank you very much. Thank you. What was it like to be part of such a great ensemble cast? Um, it was uh, pretty fantastic, I have to say. I, a lot of those guys were already involved when I got the phone call, so I f got the job and then found out that it was Michael Keaton and R Mark Ruffalo and and Rachel like, and Liev, and I'm like, I'm not doing this. Um, no, it was great. Do you think, I mean, you've been very articulate about um, the role of the press, of journalists in American society. Yeah. And, you know, it's almost an, um, unimaginable and sometimes in this, in this climate to think of the investment that was done and the kind of dedication that these people showed day in and day out yeah. to blowing up a huge well, and I, important I, story. I, and it I, still yeah. goes on, but... It does, and it's very important that, that, that newspapers and news organizations retain those that long-term investigative journalism because citizen journalism is great and the internet is great, but the skill level of those writers is what is, and, and the resourcefulness of those writers is what uncovered that story and right. stories like them. And so it's a necessary thing in society, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, talk to us a little bit about obviously Spotlight handling that very, very tricky theme. Uh, yeah. How did you guys go into it? Uh, we all, well, speaking for myself, I met Ben Bradley shortly after t getting hired by Tom and um, went up and sat down with him and he entertained every question I had and we became friends and he was okay. kind of a de facto consultant on the set. A lot of those guys were. Um, just very helpful as to what it was like, what how it, how the story was was told, what went on in those rooms, and you know he made it really much easier for me to play him. Amazing. Well, John, such a pleasure to speak to you. Nice, Thank nice you. seeing you. Thanks, Thanks so much you for too. stopping by.